Okay, here is a compressor that we had some issues with. So we got the uh, relay. All these parts are completely damaged, useless. So we got it running with a three in one. We also found this leak on a puncture valve and as, as you can see, it's all com that rubber seal is completely damaged. So, always, always try to check for something like this. And the way you'll know where the problem is, you're gonna notice these green spots, and that's where your heat is. So, we had one there which is right below the puncture valve. That's how you can tell exactly where the leaks are. And uh, now we got a, a small one over here. So that's been taken care of. Okay. Now three and one, normally these are used uh, just for emergency purposes. Uh, you can get any compressor running using a half power for commercial or a quarter for uh, residential. Um, and, uh, you know, that's uh, while well, you get the original parts. Okay. Uh, earlier, it was at 67. Right now, it's at 59 and dropping. So when we tested these parts, I use a capacitor tester for testing the uh, capacitor and the micro ferrets were pretty low. So that's one of the reasons I replaced it. Uh, when it comes to testing the compressor, you can actually uh, refer to a video on compressor testing that I have made before. So you can probably take a look at that one. Oh, look at the line, beautiful. Nice and cool. See that? It's even turning white. Nicely. That's what I wanted to see. Now, these are uh, three in one. There's one, one particular problem that I don't like about these uh, capacitors. And that's the, uh, if you can see the metal connections, they can actually turn and one may touch the, uh, make contact with the other and cause a short on the compressor. So I have to, you have to actually position them to where they're safe. But uh, here's a little information. There's a site called outforgrabs.com and uh, you can actually get a, a capacitor that is similar to this, but it has a connection that just snaps on there on all three. So it's got the three holes and you don't have to worry about bad contacts and uh, shorting the compressor or anything like that. So that'll work pretty good for anyone.
down to 55. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions about the valves, compressor, the testing, uh, don't forget to ask, put your questions below. Request any specific video, I'll be glad to make it for you. And, uh, or explain anything in any manner that can be best understood. So that's one of the reasons or the purpose of these videos for you to understand uh, if you're someone just starting out uh, let me know what you need I'll be glad to help you out